Why? Is I, my I Magikarp use fly? How about you take a step over here and you take a look at all these wonderful products that we have. Mm, look at this, pristine. Look at this one. Nice, this one. Nice, how about this? Nice, this one. These are gaming chairs. And there's something that's always been bothering me and I've wanted to talk about this for a long time and I've just never had the chance. I have no idea why people buy gaming chairs. This is my chair. I've been using this chair for about like two to three years. Well, this one's actually new because I have two of them. Like, I, I love this chair so much that I bought a second one of these. This isn't like sponsored by anybody or anything like that. This one is just like, it's a office chair from Staples that I got for like $129. And I've been using this for like two years. This is Dame Kai's chair. Dame Kai's that guy over there. The yeah. mayor about it. This is his gaming chair. Do you want to talk about this gaming chair? Yeah, I picked this one off of uh, Amazon for about $123. I just wanted a nice chair with a little bit more cushion because I'm a little bit heavier guy. The Bluetooth audio had no play in it whatsoever. Uh, it was price and it said it was comfortable in a number of reviews, so. Yeah, not so much over the years. This thing's like <laughs> three years old now. Okay, so this one, it has Bluetooth, right? Yeah. But it comes out of here? Yep. How long, wait, how long have you had this? Since 2015. How many times have you farted on it? Oh, I'm, I'm glad that you just asked about farting and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many times have you farted? <laughs> how many times? We're gonna go through all these chairs because I just, I don't know why people would actually buy a gaming chair just because the price is ridiculous. The only thing that you're, look, look at this, okay. The only thing that you're buying when you're buying a gaming chair, or the, what, what's the markup price, is literally just because of the way that they look, and it has nothing to do with like, their comfortability. A lot of people that do, that have gaming chairs, like you see it on Twitch, you see it on YouTube, uh, anyone that uh, is a <clears throat> gamer, gaming gamey gamer, they usually get these chairs for free. They give them to them for free, mostly because it's like an advertising thing, right? Like this one, for example, was given to me for free. But if you look at my videos where there's like my face and I'm sitting on a chair, I think I've used this maybe like, oh, the light went out. And bless the company, you know, nice company. And that's what the videos are like. They're, they always say, oh, it's a nice company. It's a great chair, but it's kind of biased because it's just handed to them for free. If you were handed a gaming chair like this that costs like $250 or something like that, you'd probably say it's a nice chair, you know? Yeah, see, this is the, yeah. Jacking off things so you can see the monitor and then you're yeah. just like I mean, that's one I'm someone that sits in a chair a lot like when I'm editing videos when I'm making videos when I'm recording stuff um, When I'm just like generally doing business on a, a computer. I'm sitting inside of a chair, right? He does system administration. You sit in a chair all the time, right? Yep How would you feel if you sat in this chair all the time if I sat in this chair all the time? No, nah. yeah. uh, at my job. We have the same chair. We have that chair Mm -hmm. And it's nice because it breathes and it has like that nice lower lumbar support right here. Yeah. And you can adjust it and it's got the rock. Yeah. Because that's the main thing. Like if I'm sitting in a chair for a while, I want to be able to at least like lean back for a little bit. This one is like 250, right? This one was given to me. I didn't pay for this one, right? This one though, I went out of my way and I actually bought this. This is from Secret Lab. And this is a chair that a lot of people hype up as being like one of the best gaming chairs that there is on the market, right? And it, it comes with like the same shit that you see with almost every single gaming chair. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Like this one costs $300. This one's like 250, 200, something like that. This is the lumbar support for every single gaming chair. It's usually just a fucking pillow. This one doesn't have it, right? Because uh, I, I, I lost it. I don't use this so much that I literally gave this chair to uh, my girlfriend's fucking brother because I just don't use it and I don't like, it makes my ass sweat. This is the lumbar support. Here, here's the pillow, this is the lumbar support. Boom. Same fucking chair. It's the same thing. This pillow headrest, it's the same shit. You can put this one on there and it's the same fucking thing. Why yes. people would pay like $300 for these? This is nice. It feels nice. I have never sat and a gaming chair that justified its price. I, and I've sat on a, on like a life gaming chair, the LF gaming chairs. I've sat in them before. And you know, the ones that cost like a thousand dollars, I'm just like, I can't, if it was my own money and it wasn't given to me, I would not buy a $1,000 gaming chair. It's just, that's ridiculous. You can get a $1,000 chair for the same price. They'll like be better than that chair be more comfortable, won't make your ass sweat, 
But I guess it won't look as nice, maybe. Literally paying for the for the look of it. <laughs> it's, just, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's sit in this chair. This is the song you choose? Is this the volume thing? Yeah, the knob on the side is the volume. She looks like a total oh, fancy. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> what was this, 120? Yeah. $120? This thing hurts my ass. $121.99. Well, I mean, my ass has been in it. It's been three years and I've gone up and down in weight and yeah. that poor chair has been through a lot. Well, now you're sitting on my chair. Yes. What do you think about my chair? I love this chair. It's the same chair I have at work. I just didn't realize it was that cheap. Yeah. Honestly, if it was yeah. that cheap, I would've got this. Again, not sponsored by Staples. But How would that even work? I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a franchise. <laughs> this is only like $129, $130 or something. $130. Yeah. It's $130. The Hiken Black Chair, $130. We have some friends that have like gaming chairs and they like, they hate them. Like a lot of people that buy gaming chairs, they just tend to just dislike them over time. Like it has the mesh, right? It has mesh so that your asshole breathes and you don't get swamp ass. And I know that some people just don't get swamp ass. It might just be like a niche thing, you know? I don't know but if you're a man, you got hair on your ass and you're gonna get swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't a cushion or anything. It's, it's just barely like, any cushion. Yeah, it kind of just feels like plastic. plastic. It's not really very cushiony. These armrests, you know, you can adjust them. I think you want to get a close up on this, see this. Bad boy customization right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. You know, I'm always sitting on this. I sit on this so much and it has a bounce to it. When you sit on it, it's not like hard and it's not a cushion. You know, I can't do the, can you do this type of shit. To show that I'm not biased. I used this chair when I bought this. I had to put it together. The fucking instructions were horrible. Literally when you're putting it together, there's this latch right here and it says, do not pull this latch. If you pull this latch, your hand might come off because like the spring load on this can like snap onto your fucking hand. This thing costs $300 and this cushion is so fucking hard. It hurts my ass. Like, I, I don't know what else to say besides it hurts my ass. It's not comfortable. I mean, honestly though, like who's going to sit like that? No one, <laughs> no one, no one sits like this. No one does, well, maybe if you want to fall asleep in your- In your chair? In your chair, but, but it's like- wants to do that? Why would you do that when you could go to your bed and go to sleep? It doesn't make any sense. You're playing games like this with a controller, right? This is this would be the optimal way to play. If you're very casual and you're just like, oh, I'm playing like something like Spider-Man, like a story-based game, you know, you can lean back in your chair and I can see the appeal to that, right? But most of the time when you're playing like a competitive game like Fortnite or fucking League of Legends or Super Smash Bros, whatever the hell you throw into the wash, you know, you're gonna be sitting up like this. This is how you're gonna be sitting when you're playing your games, right? And like this, this hurts your ass so much. Literally, this made my butt hurt so much that I had to get up, get off of this, and just go back to my chair right there because it's just so comfortable. Also for the record, I sat in the secret lab chair for well over 15 hours trying to break it in, and it just never got any better for me. And I have a fat ass. Like, my butt is big. I have a big ass, you know? Yeah, go ahead, zoom in on that. Go ahead, give it a smack. <laughs> smack it, dude. Touch it. No, smack it, poke. not poke it. Don't poke it. Smack poke. it. I have a big ass, so like I have a lot of com I have a lot of cushion, and this is just better, you know. Just it feels it feels good. I could jump like this, and it feels good. Yeah. See, this is comfortable. I'm com I'm comfortable like this. I like this. If you have girth, like these bucket seats aren't gonna help you at all. Like this thing right here, you're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate this against your ass. But can you do this? So, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's rank these. We'll have you rank them. All right, well, mine's out of the running because it's three years old. <laughs> Dude, we're keeping up with mine. Like mine, like I'm used to it. Like it's conformed to my butt. So like, I'm used to this now. So, uh, but yeah, it is a pain in the ass because it gets super hot and I get swamp ass. Now this one, like I said, I use this at work all the time. I love this chair. I didn't realize it was so cheap. I figured that like it would be like $300, $400. But this is nice. I mean, it's got the mesh. It's gonna breathe. Uh, it's got the cushion in the front too. So when you're getting serious and that back support, I just love that back support. And like this doesn't feel intrusive. Like the headrest where like some chairs, it can feel a little intrusive. Like that chair, it's a great chair. This one, I don't like this. It feels like it's grabbing my love handles. <laughs> like it's trying to hug me, but I don't, I don't want it. There's no real back support. You kind of have to like 
lean back if you want that back support. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me, <laughs> let me get the pillow, let me get the pillow. I fucking hate that. Like, I can't stand it. Let me see. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, nope, not for me. No, -uh. that's why I have a recliner. In the, in the living room. No, you gotta put this on there. You have no, to put I don't look at it. You have to. Dude, it's, it's the full experience. All right, fine. It doesn't give at all. Like, as soon as you sit on it, the cushion doesn't give at all. Like, okay, it's stiff. Do you wanna take them off? Yes. <laughs> I fucking hate this. It's not too bad. It's not perfect. I wouldn't sit in this that long. Does it feel like a $300 chair? No. I don't know if that's just because it is a new chair and it needs to be worked in, but like it feels stiff. So the sides aren't as uh, intrusive I mean, yeah. as that one. So so that's nice. Let's have, let, let's have you visually show which ones you rank. I mean, the thing is, this looks nice. It does. The embroidery and everything looks really nice. But that's literally what you're paying for is just for the customization. You're not paying for comfort. Yeah, this is how I would rank them. Worst, uh, slightly better, and then all right, and then that one's perfect. Like, I love that chair. This one. Yeah. So the so the only upside to a cloth chair is that you can fart into it a bunch and then pat it and roll it at somebody like a hand grenade. And that's how you combat. Yeah, you combat. You just, when you're bored, you just fart into the chair and then pat it and roll it at somebody. Who taught you this? All right, let me test these. Now this is where it becomes biased because I'm gonna I'm gonna choose my chair no matter what. I know you're. Like gonna I'm gonna choose it, but let's try to not be biased. This one is actually pretty comfortable. I, I actually kind of like this one right now. It doesn't feel stiff, I think. What about the sides though? The sides I'm fine with. His this one handle. I don't want to sit in there. That was your <laughs> yeah, that, you know you were I've asking. I've said it multiple we'll times. We'll sit on it again. Oh, wow, I hate this. I don't <laughs> um, this one, this one, I don't, I don't like this. I think that why I don't like it also is because I'm just like, I paid almost $300 for this. <laughs> I've sat in this for, many hours now i've been trying it out for like the past two weeks just like sitting in it and just trying to get like a feel for it and trying to like break it in and it still hurts my ass i just i don't like it uh, i'm not a fan of it this is not how you make a chair this isn't That's this this is lazy put it into the chair you know they actually have that option for lumbar support they do. where it's inside the chair and it costs like a hundred dollars more what yeah it's like four hundred dollars and like i can't even get that one because the recommended size for that, you have to be like six feet or something like that, like six something. And I'm not six something, I'm five something. So like this, I don't, I don't like it. I love this chair. <laughs> I love, it's 130, it's $130. How, how are you gonna tell me that a chair that cost me $130 and is more comfortable, I, I'm, I'm stupid because I don't wanna get this chair. Oh, it looks nice and shit. No one gives a fuck about chairs. I guess I can't pull this forward, these arms. That might be a negative for people. And then this thing, oh, yeah. Does it just go up and down? Yeah, it just goes up and down. Rank them? Yeah. All right, this Where one. I know yours one. Okay, this one goes all the way over there. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. That's how I rank it. See, I don't get it, guys. I don't know why people buy gaming chairs. I guess it's just for cosmetics, but like, if this is gonna be your go-to chair, for playing games and sitting at your computer and it's gonna be for like long amount of hours. Like I would say probably like three, four, five hours plus, somewhere around there. That's like a usual gamer time, right? Yeah. Something like that. I do not recommend these. The, these gaming chairs, I have never sat in a gaming chair that I enjoyed. And I would be like, yes, I would pay $300 for this. I've sat in DX Racers. This is Rapid X. I've sat in Secret Lab. I've sat in Lifeform Gaming. And I, all of them, I'm just like, nah, it's not worth it. It's just, it's just not worth it. There's not enough for me to like it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that gaming chairs are a ripoff, or do you think that they're actually good? Do you own one? What do you think of yours? Honestly, what do you think of yours? Is it comfortable? Is it worth the price? If you've had it for like over a year or maybe two years, do you still think it's worth it? I want to know. I want to get to the bottom of why people love these chairs so much. Squeeze. Hey, um, this is one of your fans from the entire opposite side of the country over in Florida. Currently about to get fucked up by a hurricane, but at least you're providing some laughs with your recent video. I appreciate what you're doing. You're helping a bunch of people through a bunch of shit. You might not even know it or not, but you've helped me. I know that. I'm pretty sure there's multiple people else that you've helped.
So uh, just keep it up. It's for a good cause. Make good shit. You always do. Bye.